Most people only see how aircraft engines work, but very few know why they are designed this way. In this video, I'll break down the key mechanical design principles behind modern jet engines. Rise to moonrise. Chemical reactions are part of our day. Thermal combustion might power our vehicles, but how does it help create the energy that powers the world? Let's talk about thermal combustion in a gas turbine. Gas turbines generate power using pressurized air. The air is heated in a combustor and then expands through the turbine. In turn, the turbine spins a generator that creates electricity and powers the air compressor, which rests on the same shaft, pushing air into the combustion chamber. When maintained and modernized, combustion efficiency sustains much of the way we live, work, and play. But let's take a look at the science and technology behind it all. Put simply, a gas turbine is an air machine composed of three main parts, the compressor, the combustor, and the turbine. The compressor takes in air from outside of the turbine and feeds it to the combustion chamber at hundreds of miles per hour. The combustor is what actually burns the fuel at more than 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit and produces high pressure and high velocity gas. The turbine extracts the energy from the gas in the combustor with an array of stationary and rotating airfoil blades. Finally, the new kinetic energy from the blades runs a generator that produces power. What contributes to turbine combustion efficiency? There is a balance required between the fuel, the environment, and the machinery to ensure turbines are feeding off of combustion to the best of their ability. Cleanliness of the operating area means no particles are let into the combustion chamber. Filtered high-quality fuels burn more seamlessly. Heating fuel in the... Now let's see why these engines are designed the way they are. 1. High-strength, lightweight materials. Turbine blades must withstand extreme temperatures and centrifugal forces. Materials like nickel-based superalloys are used to maintain strength at high temperatures. At GE Aerospace, specialized technicians look at many different sections of the engine to identify fan blades and pins that are too tight or otherwise malfunctioning. Lubrication is also a big part of this process, as many of these parts are intended to vibrate, but not loosen. By looking at the different colors on the pins, repair technicians can identify where metal was vibrating against metal without the benefit of a lubricant coating. Keycap 2 Aerodynamic Efficiency Compressor and turbine blades are carefully shaped to reduce drag and maximize airflow. Even small changes in blade angles can drastically affect performance. Keycap 3 Rotational Balance and Vibration Reduction Every rotating part is balanced to reduce vibration, fatigue, and bearing wear. Bearings are placed strategically for load distribution. Rotational unbalance occurs when there is an uneven distribution of mass around an axis of rotation. It can give a rotating machine element eccentric movement, which can cause excessive vibration, noise, decreased bearing life, decreased machine life, increased need of maintenance, and unsafe working conditions. There are many possible causes for unbalance, such as machining or assembly errors dirt buildup, broken parts, and more. Rotating machinery is balanced either by adding weight to the light spot or removing weight from the heavy spot, similar to the method mechanics use to speed balance the tires of a car. In order to correct rotational unbalance, you must know two things. One, force which is the amount of vibration caused by rotational unbalance, and two, direction, which is the location of the heavy or light spot. In this illustration, we will add weight to counterbalance the heavy spot so that the mass is evenly distributed around the axis of rotation. 
4. Ease of Maintenance Modular design ensures sections can be replaced quickly in service. This reduces downtime and maintenance cost. Engines are always under close supervision. Both commercial airliners and military jets have engine maintenance schedules. In most cases, this is determined by the number of flight hours it undergoes, ferrying passengers or cargo from one place to another. When an engine reaches its maintenance threshold, it is generally switched out for a newly repaired model. This process usually takes place at special maintenance hangars owned by major airlines, such as Southwest. In the case of modern jets like this Boeing 737, removing and replacing the engine can take anywhere from four to seven hours. First, the cowling must be removed. This protects the sensitive parts of the engine from weather and debris. Dozens of attachments must be disconnected before the engine can be dropped onto the waiting dolly. The average 737 engine weighs around 2 tons or more, so it's imperative that they be handled very carefully. Once the inside of the cowling is inspected, a new or previously repaired engine is brought in carefully. Once an engine is removed, it will typically go to a special repair facility located inside or adjacent to the main repair hangar. Here, it will undergo a complete overhaul, which typically includes individual part diagnostics and repair, module disassembly, and a variety of whole and component testing. The first step is what's known as a pulse line inspection. This is an electrical evaluation of the entire engine. Afterward, the engine is disassembled into various parts. Typically, repair shops have different specialists for each engine part. By removing the components, they can all work on the engine at the same time while ensuring maximum accuracy. They will also be carefully cleaned to remove corrosion, oil, and dirt. Components will be tested for cracks or other damage and replaced if necessary. The goal of this overhaul process is to get the engine back to like new condition. Lastly, each part is inspected to make sure it meets the proper standards for being reintegrated with the engine. Even after the final reassembly, the engine must undergo extensive bench testing to ensure it will perform as expected. As with all other engines, proper lubrication is one of the most important parts of any turbofan maintenance. 
depending on the part, some components of a jet engine can revolve at speeds of up to 20,000 RPM. Without lubrication, due to the low temperatures they encounter, contaminants in the air, and other chemical reactions, all parts of a jet engine are susceptible to damage and wear. Proper cleaning is the primary way maintenance technicians prevent this from happening. Major airline engine manufacturer Pratt & Whitney has started using a specialized engine wash system known as EcoPower. It directs atomized water directly into the engine while it is parked at the terminal, then collects the subsequent wastewater for purification and reuse. This time-saving solution allows for cleaning while the engine is still in use. And since it is fully self-contained, it keeps any and all chemicals from entering the environment. CyClean has a similar engine cleaning system. It too is carried out directly at the gate and takes under one hour to complete. These sorts of jet engine cleanings are not only designed to reduce corrosion, but they can also improve overall fuel consumption, reduce performance deterioration, and extend the life of the engine. Cyclean engine wash happens about two to four times a year and uses pressurized hot water shot directly into the engine core. As with EcoPower, the resulting wastewater is captured for recycling. And where many engine washes can only be used in above freezing temperatures. Cycling can add small amounts of glycol to the mixture to keep it from solidifying in the engine during cleaning. Engine manufacturers like Rolls-Royce have invested millions of man-hours into developing engines that are more efficient, more resistant to corrosion, and can last longer in between overhauls. The most recent culmination of these efforts is the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB. A high bypass turbofan specifically designed for the Airbus A350. This powerful engine is capable of putting out.